Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, we will show you how we have created this loan recovery service dashboard in Microsoft Excel. This is a ready to use dashboard and you can just plug your data and refresh from the data tab. From here, just refresh all. All the pages of the dashboard will be refreshed automatically. This is the first page which is the overview page and here we are showing the total cases, total outstanding amount, total recovered amount, total legal cost and recovered amount percentage. So here we are showing the recovered amount percentage by the region. This is the number of open cases. Here we have total legal cost by the loan type and this is total outstanding by the recover agency. On the left hand side we have given the slicers to filter the data for example if you want to see this information for a particular month you can just click on that and here you can see everything is getting filtered automatically or even you can see it by the recover method also let's say i'm selecting here call center field widget legal notice okay so it is getting filtered on the left hand side we have given the navigation pen so you can just go to the another page which is the loan analysis. Here in the loan analysis you can see the total recovered amount by loan type and this is total case by the loan type in this pie chart and this is the average days open by the loan type. This is recover amount percentage by the loan type. Here we are showing the total recovered amount by the recovery method and here total cost by the recovery method maximum in the legal notice open cases by the recovery method and here we have the recovered amount percentage by the recovery method this is for the total outstanding so we are showing the total outstanding amount by the region this is by the loan type and here aging bucket and here we are showing the recovery method Last one is the monthly analysis wherein we are showing the total outstanding amount by the month and this is total recovered amount by the month and here we are showing the total legal cost by the month. Okay, Now you can filter the data by the region or you can filter the data by the loan type so you can quickly see the trend of this. Now I will show you the data also here at bottom you can see the multiple seeds we have all these seeds here and let's come to the data in the data we have case id case date recovery agency and some other field related to the loan like region loan type and the method case status and these other things here right in the last we have added few formulas like uh, case status is open so we can get the open cases count total cases month and year so that we can use them in the slicer or we can use them in the calculated field of the pivot table we have created here the support sheet to create all the pivot tables these pivot tables are used inside the particular page to create these top cards and to create these charts if I come here, you can see first we are taking the total cases. So this is the pivot table you can see. Okay. And we are taking the total cases. So total cases uh, we are showing here on the card. Similarly, we are showing the other pivot tables and uh, we have mentioned here these all the pivot tables for the overview page. If I come to the right side, then you can see these all the pivot table for the loan analysis and these all for the recovery method analysis here total outstanding analysis month analysis for monthly trends okay now show you how we have created this also so this is all the excel shapes if i move you can see this is another shape this is another shape here we have the card so let me show you how we can create this type of card so just go to the view and uncheck the grid lines from here. I have added a new seat, okay, seat one. And let me insert a big rectangle just to show you like that. You can change the color and the radius of the corner. 
then just insert a small rectangle here and let's skip this here go to the safe format and let's fill the white color you can remove the shape outline if you want let's say i'm saying no outline and you can put little shadow impact from here to make it little pretty okay now just go to the insert text and insert a text box and drag the text box here click on the outline of the text box go to the formula bar press equal to support sheet and let's say we want to show the total cases or total outstanding whatever you want let's say i want to display the total recovered amount and just hit the enter so we can see here total recovered amount you can make this slightly bigger and keep the font little smaller so we can see all align the center center and if you want to change the color you can do that let's say i'm taking this color Go to the save format, save outline, say no outline, save fill as no fill. And now we can make it duplicate, control D. And let's skip this here. Go to the formula bar, press equal to support sheet. And this time we will click on this. Okay. And let's hit the enter. It might show some error just because of, you can see it is taking the get fever data. So first of all, we have to fix this, come to the pivot table and let's click here, go to the pivot table, analyze and just uncheck this, generate get pivot data. Okay. Once you uncheck it, then you can use it for all the cards or all the linkings. Let's come to the support sheet and again, we can go to the equal to and just click here and hit the enter. Now you can make it take the theme color make it bold and slightly bigger all right so we can see the card is ready now if you create any slicer so let's say i'm just clicking here and i will insert one slicer and uh, let's say i want to take for the long time okay so now let's cut this from here Control x come to the support sheet and paste that here if i click then you can see it is getting changed so on click you can see the total recovered amount for the auto loan is this one credit card home loan okay it is getting changed this is totally dynamic so that is how we have created the cards and similarly we can create the charts also if you want to learn more about this type of dashboards how we can create you can join our course we have given the link in the video's description box Inside that course, we have provided all the practice files and all the charts and we have explained how to create the pivot table with the calculated field and how to create this kind of custom design of the slicers also as well as for the pivot tables and charts, advanced level charts. All right, friends. Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for the watching.